Hello everyone, uh, I am Dr. Devabrutha Bera. Uh, I am an electrophysiologist in uh, Rabindranath Chagor Hospital at Mukundapur. Uh, so what electrophysiology means I just want to elaborate uh, with you and share with you because this is a relatively new field uh, and it is a sub a subdivision of a cardiology where we deal with patients with arrhythmia. What arrhythmia means is uh, some of the patients come to us with a very rapid palpitation that the patient's heartbeat is going fast and if we do a ECG during that period the heart rate is found to be more than 150 even 200 or it can go as high as 300 and uh, in these patients uh, what we find uh, during a procedure called EP study uh, is that there is an extra signal inside the heart it can be on the right side or on the left side of the heart what we do during AP study, it is the procedure is something like an angiogram. We put one or two IV cannula in the groin and through that we put a catheter. With a couple of catheters we try to map where is the extra signal and uh, we remove the extra signal from the heart with a heat which and the procedure is called RF ablation or radio frequency ablation. Uh, this is uh, by and large a safe and effective procedure in more than 95 to 99% of patients. There is another subcategory of patients which we deal with uh, in day-to-day -day practice is patients whose heart rate is uh, going below the desired uh, level. Uh, the normal usual heart rate is between 60 to 100. Some of the patients come to us with a very low heart rate, as low as 40 or 30 or even 20s. And these patients come to us with uh, recurrent loss of consciousness or blackout. We call them syncope and uh, how it is different from a loss of consciousness from a neurological or a brain stroke is in cardiological syncope the patient recovers consciousness immediately within few seconds whereas in brain stroke they will not become immediately normal within few seconds or few minutes in these patients occasionally they need uh, evaluation followed by a EP study and uh, sometimes they need uh, pacemaker implantation which we will elaborate on another video